Hello guys. So who remembers this bin? This is my hungry bin that I started almost a year ago with uh, dry leaves and grasses and uh, coconut core, high car carbon material, forgive me for my voice. I lost it um, fighting a cold. But in any case, so we looked in on this thing um, about five or six months into the uh, experiment. We found absolutely nothing at the bottom. Uh, so let's take a look, see. Uh, right now I'm going to remove the bottom tray and I'm going to see what we have there. This has been going on, like I said, almost, um, almost a year. 11, about 11 months. And I have been putting some food in here. So yes, it has been getting a little bit of kitchen waste, but majority of it has been uh, leaves and grasses and coconut core. And uh, the reason I did that is because I wanted to see what uh, high carbon material would look like coming out the bottom. Um, the worms are really happy in here. They're quite a few of them, they've reproduced a lot, uh, but I haven't really been impressed with the finished product. Nothing is really coming out at the bottom, at least not the way I expected it to. So what I'm going to do is do a final check at the bottom, and then we're going to take this uh, bin apart uh, put all the contents here into my raised garden beds, let all the worms free, and I'm going to um, start this bin up according to the manufacturer's instructions so you guys can see what it looks like uh, run just according to the way it should with store-bought compost, and, and uh, we'll go from there. But meanwhile, let me take a look, see what we have at the harvesting tray. Okay, so I removed the harvesting tray, and as you can see, there's still nothing in there. It's all compacted up here, but there are plenty of worms and uh, a lot of sludgy, sludgy material. So I am just going to put all this material back into the upper portion of the bin. I'm going to leave the bottom off and I am just going to, like I said, take this to the garden side and let these guys out into one of my garden beds and restart this uh, this bin according to the manufacturer's instructions. By the way, I have a copy of it. So when I start it up, we are definitely going to go through it line by line. So you see what they recommend and that I'm doing what they recommend. And then we will just uh, go from there. But uh, this is the last you're seeing of this bin in my garage. You can see how disgustingly dirty my gloves are because everything is just sludgy and sticky. But um, yeah, the next time you see this, I will be putting it together for our regular Hungry Bin uh, startup. So join me for that.